The only way to travel is Cadillac style. Cadillac Seville STS for 1990. The acceleration of a new, more powerful V8 engine will press you against ultra-soft leather, while its exclusive touring suspension and standard anti-lock brakes will convince you this is an international touring sedan with very powerful credentials. Cadillac, Cadillac, Cadillac style. Now, with a $2,000 cash bonus direct from Cadillac. I hate guilt. That's why I love wheat thins and now oat thins, too. Look, whole oat grains baked right in. Now, do I love oat thins as much as my wheat thins? Yeah. Am I feeling a little guilty about that? Nah. Here are two great new ways to enjoy Triscuit. Triscuit Bits and Triscuit Tons. Same big crunch, same weedy taste. Look for Triscuit Bits in stores right now. As for Triscuit Tons, we're still uh, working on the box. <laughs> The leather sandal on her left foot features a wraparound strap and sells for about $36. The leather sandal on her right foot also features a wraparound strap, but sells for only $25. Kitty, we only sell the right shoe. If you shower with soap, this is what you're missing. Zestfully clean. Zestfully clean. Soap leaves a sticky film behind, but zest wins is clean away. You're not fully clean unless you're zestfully clean. I'll be back, Etta. I'll be back, Etta. I'll be back, Etta. I'll be back, Etta. Etta. I'm having the coolest dream. What about? Huh? Hmm? Oh, uh, that I had my own horse. <laughs> That was my favorite dream when I was your age. Oh, well, I'm going to go down to the lake for a while. <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> oh, Dylan, Dylan, where for art thou, Dylan? <laughs> Very nice, Anna. Is that the Lombarda? <laughs> Wayne! Wayne, I just had the greatest idea. Y you know how girls at his age dream about horses? When I was a kid, I dreamed about hollow point bullets exploding in the bellies of vicious criminals. <laughs> I guess girls are different. I am gonna give Etta's birthday party a Western theme. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> we'll dress up, dig a pit, and barbecue something big. <laughs> so, you'll be invited, too, because Etta really likes you. And I do, too. Wayne, I think you are one of the nicest guys I know. Oh, no. You're breaking off our trial engagement, aren't you? How did you know? Did my voice quiver? No, I just saw my engagement ring laying over there on the TV guy. <laughs> dance, dance, my muse. Did anyone ever call before they come over here? I've heard an ugly rumor. I'm sure it's not true. That you're not inviting me to your birthday party on Saturday? I'm sorry, Destin. It's just that when my old boyfriend, Dylan, moved back to California, he promised he'd come to my birthday party. I bet he's driving here right now. His mom lets him drive? <laughs> my mom said I can't drive until I'm married. <laughs> A boy like Dylan doesn't ask his mom, Dustin. He'll probably just steal her Porsche again. My mom said I can't steal anything until I'm a lawyer. <laughs> Look at your options, Janice. I mean, who's gonna come and sweep you off your feet? Ernie Sanderhoff, the rain gutter king? <laughs> Forget it. He's got every single woman in granite at his feet. Especially after a big storm. <laughs> Wayne, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm sorry. Look, my mother always said, you know, when you meet the right guy, 
You'll know. It's fate. It'll be some strange connection, like maybe he'll take coffee the same way you do. That's great. That's brilliant. How do you take your coffee, Jan? Four artificial sweeteners. <gasps> Me too! Let's get married. <laughs> I take three sugars. I was kidding. So was I. Why do nice girls always go for these criminal types? Is that what you want, Etta? Some empty-headed, bare-chested car thief? Because I'll strip for you, Etta. I'll strip right down to my medical art tags. You go ahead, Janice. Go marry someone who likes coffee the way you do. Some random sugar freak. And when you find out all you have in common are jangled nerves and rotting teeth, don't come running back to me. Go ahead, Etta. Run off with this delinquent. And when he tosses you aside like a used inhaler, call me. I may still be available. You watch out for women, kid. They're meaner than we think. Yeah, there isn't one of them that's worth a damn. All right, Ma, keep your depends on. <laughs> Desmond, I've got a treat for you. I've been thinking of going on a fabulous vacation, and I decided to take you with me. It'll be fun. For you, you'll be traveling first class, staying in luxury suites. I'll be in grubby little rooms with bad art. You know how jarring it is to wake up to crying clowns? <laughs> Desmond! Morris, what are you doing here? I thought you were in Palm Springs mending your broken heart. I knocked off early. The greatest thing happened. I'm at the spa having my pores sucked, and I met someone. We talked and talked. It was as if we'd known each other from another time. She's the woman I've been looking for all my life, and she's here. Hello. I'm Harris Weldon. Dad, don't you recognize her? It's Mom. <laughs> Vivica? Vivica, I recognized you right away. I can't believe how young you look. Imagine, you two still together after 30 years. I can't believe how young you look. I had all but forgotten about Norris until I saw him at the Springs. I just knew I had to come and spend some time with my son. We'd love to have you. Yes, I bet you would. <laughs> this would be just like old times. Well, let's go home, Mom. We can have such a deeper relationship now that I'm verbal and stop spitting up after meals. Put her in the aubergine room! <laughs> you know, Desmond, traveling the world with a woman like Vivica could keep me young forever. She looks sensational. As beautiful as the night I spent with her in Saint-Tropez. <laughs> Just one night, one puny night. She was my wife. I should have taken her from you then when I had the chance, but I was fresh out of butler school. This time I won't be so polite. Go on, make your play. It won't do any good. She was only with you to get even with me because I was having a minor dalliance. I believe it was two minors. <laughs> Jeremy, why are you calling me? I thought we got this straight. I'm married. Yes, yes, I admit it. I was stirred too, but the only man who should be stirring me is my husband. I'm a one spoon woman. Jeremy, please don't call me again. It could ruin my life, really. What could ruin your life? Um, asbestos. <laughs> Salesman on the phone, yeah. selling asbestos, yeah. I told him he didn't want it. No, sir. What's uh, that hat? You know it is. Oh, almost immediately, huh? It's our future, Carolyn. Got one for you, too. Oh. We're going into the bear training business, too? No, 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 no. Now look at these brochures, Carolyn. I've been corresponding with the Romanian Chamber of Commerce. You know, with the decommunization of Eastern Europe, I thought Romania would be a good investment for my, for our $40,000. <laughs> Romania? Yeah, oh, it's the new frontier, Caroline. You know, they need everything. I'm already working on a little coup to be the exclusive Eastern European distributor for Lady Bic razors. <laughs> I'm not moving anywhere, Tom. No, no, no. I've rented us a great apartment, honey. You rented an apartment? Wait a second, that's three bedrooms in a beautiful old building for $14 a month. You didn't even tell me about well, this, Well, I wanted Tom. to surprise you, honey. Look, there's nothing to keep us here in Grand. 
We have a life here in Grand. No, no, no. You have a life. No, I do not. Not at all. Uh-uh. Well, then why wait? Look, this is what our marriage needs. A new country. A new language. <laughs> Teubesque. Huh? That's I love you in Romanian. <laughs> Let's go upstairs and make love in our hats. Um, I'll be up in a minute. Jeremy, it's me. You doing anything tomorrow night? Well, how would you like to get together and ruin my life? Chrysler is the first car company with the guts to put their safety claims to a real test with a real driver and show you the result. Every car Chrysler builds in America has an airbag. If you're looking at a Japanese car, see if it's got an airbag. Then ask yourself if you can live without one. There's something about it. It's great. It's just different. The movie is fabulous. <laughs> we loved it. I would bring my kids to see this movie ten times. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It was great. Rated PG. Now playing. Kmart lets you look your best in no-nonsense pantyhose. The quality you need at the price you want. $2.99 a two-pack. After Grand, it's an even hotter cheers. When Rebecca needs a new image, she seeks advice from the best. You've got a reputation of being uninhibited. You should have known me when I was a real... <laughs> and she goes too far. Oh, I don't get naked. Unleashing Super Sammy on a second sizzling cheers after Grand. Next. Lawyers have a bad reputation. Lawyers work darn hard to earn that reputation. Some people say lawyers are just opportunist swine who feed off the misfortune of others and ravage the justice system. The word swine might be a little harsh. Oh, yeah? What makes you so smart? I'm a lawyer. Oh. <laughs> Shannon's Deal. Friday the movie, Monday the series. It's going to be great getting to know you, Ma. I mean, I have so many questions. Like, what's your favorite color? Do you like reggae? Why didn't anybody tell me I was Swedish? <laughs> Don't bother your mother with that, Norris. I must apologize, Vivica. Your arrival was unexpected and I was forced to make do. Eggs Florentine in hollandaise sauce, a homemade popover and freshly squeezed guava juice. How come we get Count Chocula? <laughs> Desmond, I'm sure it's delicious. Well, I'm quite a marvel in the kitchen. As well as other rooms. <laughs> More champagne? Sparkles like your eyes. Desmond, I pay for it. I'll tell her it sparkles like your eyes. Norris, I seem to have left my cigarette light upstairs. Would you be a good boy and get it for Mommy? Isn't this great, huh? Our first mother-son activity. <laughs> I must confess. Being back here has stirred feelings I thought were long dead. You were the closest thing to a family I've ever had. I like to spend the rest of my time with Norris and his father. Oh, excellent choice, my dear. I feel the same way about you. I was talking about Desmond. Desi, will you have me? <laughs> oh, God, yes. Wait a minute! He's not the father I am. Didn't you tell him? He knows. I told him on the eve of my gallbladder operation. <laughs> yeah, but it's not the truth. The doctor told me that you and Norris were completely different blood types. There's no way that you can be his father. I am. That's impossible. 
As I remember it, we didn't make love that entire month. You were always a sound sleeper. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I still choose Desi. Desmond, you're fired! That's all right, sir. I think I found a much more pleasurable position. <laughs> wait until tonight. Oh. By the way, it's still there. What's still there? That bright golden light that hovers around you. Oh, thanks. I just washed my hair. Sometimes it does that, you know, when the air is dry. <laughs> Let's get out of here. I rushed home at lunchtime and uncorked a bottle of wine so it'd have time to breathe for us. I have something to tell you. I can't go through it tonight. But why? Well, when I called you last night, I had just found out that Tom and I were leaving Grand, so I thought, what the heck, why not throw caution to the wind, you know? But now, in the light of day, I, I just think that... I'll it... follow you. Huh? I'll follow you no matter where you go. Oh, no, 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 no. Now, now tell me where you're going. I've got to know what to pack. Oh. <laughs> Forget it, Jeremy. I, I want to give Tom another chance. I, I love him. Maybe I could stop loving Tom and learn to love you, but I don't have time. I'm moving to Romania. Romania? <sighs> I'm sorry. You're in the ladies' locker room. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Were you doing something strange? <laughs> You're a little different from the regular crew around here. <laughs> My legs are a little shaky. Well, it's okay. Sit down. Sit down. You want a cup of coffee? Oh, yeah, that would be nice. Thanks. What are you taking it? Oh, uh, three sugars. Howdy, partners! Hi. Welcome to Adam Pastetti's 13th birthday jamboree! <laughs> okay, the bittles are coming out, so y'all just help yourselves. And, Ed, honey, you want to mosey on up here and say something to these folks? No. <laughs> okay, well, everybody just act Western. <laughs> Yahoo! It's getting late. Where's your boyfriend from California? Dylan will be here. Wayne, thanks for doing this. I'm doing it for Edda's sake. Told her I'd be your spit man, and I am. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to tenderize your rump. <laughs> When the Duchess got up, the Pekingese was dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Desi, you are so witty. I heard Tyne Daly tell that joke on Johnny Carson, and even she was funnier. <laughs> Why are the wealthy such poor losers? Who's a loser? Here, Vivica, a little gift, a diamond bracelet, and there's more where that came from. Oh, Harris, do you really think you can buy my love? Well, it worked once. <laughs> Come on, baby. That's uh, some mom you got there, Norris. Yeah, isn't she hot? <laughs> Watch this. Hey, Mom, I really need a hug. Oh, my baby. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and I'm an only child. <laughs> well, I think it's wonderful you've reunited. You know, Carol Ann and I are back together again. Yeah, I heard. Yeah, watch this. Carol Ann, I really need a hug. Later, Tom. Okay. <laughs> well, Janice, you really lucked out with this weather. I heard on the news there might be a storm or something. Oh, there won't be a storm. My luck's changing. I know that soap company's gonna give me a big settlement for breaking out in that rash. And I met a guy. Well, when do I get to meet him? Is he coming to the party? 
Well, I wanted to invite him, but I, I didn't think it'd be fair to Wayne. He didn't take the news of our breakup very well. Yo, homegirl. What are you doing here? You weren't invited. Besides, for your information, it's a Western theme. Mm -hmm. Dustin, have you been combining your medications again? Don't worry about me, babe. So where's this wolf, Dylan? Dylan will be here. You see my fiance. America, marry me again. We'll share my fortune. We'll travel the world, visit the palaces of Europe. It'll be heavenly. Is that a chemical toilet? <laughs> Please. What can I do to convince you? You could go down on your knees. Oh, gladly. Vivica, will you marry me? No. I just wanted to see you down on your knees. <laughs> I never wanted Desmond. I just wanted you to feel the humiliation I felt all those times you cheated on me. What about last night? Have I been used as an instrument of revenge once again? Yes, you lucky dog. <laughs> well, you can get up now. No, I can't. <laughs> I guess there's nothing sadder than two old fools. Two old fools in a tornado. In a trailer. In a toilet. Ah! <laughs> oh. oh. I'm so sorry. Well, it didn't take you very long, did it? What did she do? Walk into the locker room right after me? Okay, Anna. It's time to <laughs> blow out your candles and cut your cake now. And then we'll run for cover. No, Mom.
Share the success during National Cadillac Week with a bonus of up to $2,000 on America's leading luxury automobiles. And when you take a test drive, you'll be eligible for use of a Cadillac for two weekend days at participating U.S. Avis locations. Join the National Cadillac Week celebration, April 7th through the 15th. Don't you look cute? Don't you look nice? In your new pink rosebuds and blue oxford stripes. New love's friends are tops. In bottoms. Only loves has got them. They're tops. In bottoms. For something light, may we suggest a cool McDonald's salad. Toss fresh, they go to work, to your home, to the park, to the beach. Crisp, delicious salads right in reach. Fresh toss salads from McDonald's. Oh, yeah, all dressed up. Coming up next, roll the dice and let the games begin on another great episode of Cheers, followed by a sneak preview of a brand new comedy. Come home to Down Home, starring Judith Ivey tonight. I'm Brian Gumbel. Tomorrow morning on Today, some last-minute tax tips. We'll talk with actress Justine Bateman and hear the uplifting music of the Winans, too. Tomorrow morning on Today. <laughs>